friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratin and now the anti chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and the methyl cellulose is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and now capsulorexis is being done with this instrument this is a uh, utrita forceps the anti-capsule is torn, a capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anti-clockwise, remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated people, and thus a fairly round, optimum sized rexis is achieved. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 mm. Now, hydro dissection is done. A 27 gauge cannula is attached to a 2 cc syringe with BSS and the cannula goes just underneath the anticapsular rim and the fluid is injected. And see the nucleus rotates very nicely. And now what is the hardness of the nucleus because of the red glow this cataract is appearing soft but it is not the red glow may be deceptive and we may misjudge the hardness of the nucleus look here after aspirating some superficial cortical lens matter the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up And now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision. It goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and here it is, it is chopped. And we find that this cataract is quite hard. It is not a soft cataract. So red glow may be deceptive. And now each nuclear fragment is subdivided into smaller pieces and they are emulsified with ultrasonic energy which is 70% in this case. Flow rate in this case is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is last but one nuclear piece and now the last piece take the last piece over this epinuclear cushion and emulsify it and now I am in FECO 3 mode where the vacuum is 200 fluoride is 25 and this epinuclear shells are emulsified. Friends, this is a totally unedited recording and you are watching each and every step of the surgery. And now some visco is injected into the anterior chamber. In this case, I am going to use a B cartridge, so I want to enlarge the main wound a bit and the 2.8 millimeter incision becomes about 3 millimeter. Now cortical cleanup is done by this instrument. This is a 23G Simco cannula. And see how beautifully you can remove the cortex. While removing the cortical lens matter, we must hold the anterior part of the cortex. That is the part which is just under the anterior capsular rim. 
the cortical lens matter from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock is removed going through the side port and now this is a bit polishing of the posterior capsule you can see that the posterior capsule is nicely cleaned and now hydro implantation of an intraocular lens in this case we are going to implant a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Appa Sami Associates. This is known as Super Fove. And here the lens goes in the capsular bag. The haptics take shelter at the equator of the capsular bag. This lens unfolds slowly and it is getting unfolded at this time. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is closed hydrating corneal stroma and while hydrating the corneal stroma we must inject PSS on the scleral side of this stabilization so that DMD doesn't occur. DMD means decimates membrane detachment. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium is removed. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. The integrity of all the wounds are checked by cotton taped Jensen bard few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.